Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Following on from yesterday's video, looking at how to invest in cryptocurrency within your self-managed super fund or your SMSF here in Australia, I wanna take a look at a crypto hedge fund by Invectus Capital. So this video is sponsored, letting you know that straight up. However, all the research is my own. I've gone through the hedge funds, gone through the websites, and I picked out something that I like the look of, which smooths out the highs and the lows, which is why I think it could be a good option for an SMSF, something for a retirement fund, or if you just don't like the volatility of the crypto market, but you wanna be exposed to multiple cryptocurrencies and you basically don't want the headaches of buying all these different coins. So this can be a reasonable option. Of course, none of this is financial advice. I need to let you know that straight up in case you are taking it as financial advice. So please do all your own research. The links to everything here, I'll leave in the description down below. So go and check it all out, do the research, check it all out for yourself before you purchase anything. But overall, let's take a look and uh, I wanna dive into the reports of this particular hedge fund, which is the Crypto 10. So I'll start with this part here. This is not a get rich quick crypto. This is not your altcoin 10X, 100X nonsense that just skyrockets, they're great. But potentially, if you're not looking for that volatility or that high gambling risk, then this might be a better option. Essentially, like we'll see on the, the chart in a moment, the, this smooths out the highs and the lows. This fund in particular, the Crypto 10 Hedge, uh, really did well throughout the periods of 2020 where the market tanked and then recovered. And so this is done by uh, holding USD instead of many of the cryptocurrencies. So they use quants uh, and their trading and their science data trading guys to understand what the market is doing and then balance out those portfolios. So that's what I mean by smoothing out the highs and the lows. You might not get the massive gains, it's still in the hundreds of percent, but you're not gonna get the massive drawdowns either. And that's why I like it as uh, an investment vehicle, a tool for something more like a retirement fund. So there's deep dive quarterly reports as well that you get access to uh, for if you are holding these coins within the Crypto 10 hedge, then there is staking, forking, airdrops, and they're all collected for the investor as well. Looking at the fees, it is 0.5%. Their average competitor in the market's around 3% and uh, the standard hedge fund out in the traditional markets is generally a 2% annual management fee and a 20% performance fee where they don't carry that here in Invectus Capital. Fees are 0.5%. So essentially they're trying to be the vanguard of crypto. So far it's looking potentially uh, like that, but you know it's still early days. A couple of years or about two and a half years old uh, this fund is about a year and a half to two years old, which we're gonna take a look at. So with that said, you know what to do, like the video up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the bell notification icon. Let's dive in to have a look at the reports on Invectus Capital's Crypto 10 Hedge. First up, let's take a look at the quarterly reports. This is for the fourth quarter of 2020. I won't bore you with everything in here. However, it is a pretty decent read, 65 pages here, but it goes through all of the hedge funds that they have or all of the funds that you can invest with. So I'll take a quick look at that first. And these are the fund price movements. So they've got a gold plus, emerging markets, solar, margin lending, crypto 10 hedged, which is what we're interested in today, crypto 20, Hyperion VC and Bitcoin Alpha. Now these haven't performed as well as the market and that's why I'm not as interested in them. But of course they have their team that is building on each of these funds. But the Crypto 10 Hedge, like I've said many times, is the one that we wanna have a look at today. So this is what they have in total. Uh, just to mention, their Gold Plus, they're looking to beat the market and then also offer a return on that as well. So if you're interested in investing in gold, potentially for your SMSF or your retirement fund, then this may be another good option, which we may have a look at in months to come. So let's just go back to the quarterly report. You can see here, there is a lot of detail data, but I'm just gonna quickly skip down to uh, the CEO, co-founder, which I'm looking to get on the channel as well. So if you do have questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll chat with Daniel at some point in the future. So at the moment, their assets under management says here close to 80 million at time of writing. It has ticked over $100 million in assets under management. It's a company out of South Africa. 
and a little further down, redesigned the platform, looking very neat and tidy as you can tell. So they do put a lot of energy and emphasis into having a good user interface and user experience, which is also important, as uh, not as much as getting good returns, but it's also nice to have good looking reports come out so that you can understand the data that they're providing. ICAP successfully launched. So this is a token of theirs that you can purchase and also stake to earn interest on and this gives then gives you other features within the app so i'll talk to daniel a little more in detail about this icap feature but it's just a new thing that has come out this year a little further down just tells you what the token supply is but this isn't the emphasis of today's video so i'll leave that for another video but I just wanted to make mention that there is an icap token i really just want to have a look at more to do with the crypto 10 hedged so a little further down this goes over broader market and what we're looking for is the funds report. So this is Hyperion VC. Then we have the 20. A quick review of the C20 for a comparison just before we get into the crypto 10 hedged. We can see C20 fund annualized returns negative three and the top 20 equally weighted 1% down. So it is slightly down compared to the top 20 itself if you had just bought the top 20. Overall, max drawdown 93% and the top 20 was 89%. So it hasn't done too much in, in the way of improving the result in the C20. But I think they're obviously going to be working on that with their team of quant traders and data scientists and etc, which we'll have a look at in just a second. So let's move down to the one that I'm here for, which is a crypto 10 hedged. All right, so you can access these reports for free if you want to check it out before investing. So definitely, look, if you're even considering it, I'd highly recommend doing that. Crypto 10 hedged performance. Now this is what I'm interested in as an investor for something more like my retirement fund. Reason being is that it keeps me out of the market for these massive dips and it just keeps my portfolio, my account balance a little more steady. We are still gonna see big rises and falls because this is cryptocurrency but it's not going to be as severe as some of these times during the market now overall if we don't get these severe downturns in our portfolio we do want to see the upsides being greater just because we've been able to uh, weather these these areas here so we've been able to stay out of the market keep our capital safe and ideally we want to see a higher upside so so far with the crypto uh, 10 hedged position we have seen the upside beat the top 10 equally weighted. So these are getting rebalanced from memory every week or every month. I'll have to confirm that again. And from that rebalancing, that's how this position is formed. Crypto 10 cash hedge position. So this is the cash that's in the account, basically swinging backwards and forwards from crypto to USD to maintain that stability. You can see that they switch back to USD through these periods of severe decline through uh, basically mid part of 2019 through to the end of 2019, then back to crypto to get the little peak and then back to cash as we got the dump into the COVID crash and then switch back. As you can see here, this is the white area is basically going more into crypto and the blue there's just means there's less cash in the account. So that uh, allowed for the rise to continue. The rest of the crypto market caught up at this point here, but currently we are beating the top 10 equally weighted. So that's that's a good performing crypto 10 hedge portfolio. A note from them on Ripple, you can see here, Ripple Labs, the originator of the Ripple token XRP, the funds management team have chose to exclude XRP from both crypto 20 and crypto 10 hedge until a formal decision of this legal filing has been achieved. So you won't see Ripple in this portfolio. C10's entire XRP position was exited around 47 cents shortly before the lawsuit was formally filed after which XRP lost more than half of its value. So the decision prevented a drawdown of roughly 120 grand for crypto 10. So that's the sort of thing that the hedge fund can act on understanding what's going on in the market and make those deci decisions emotional less as opposed to some of us trading where we get very emotional about our positions. Now the top 10 is just below here. Looking at the first PC, the fourth quarter saw the re-inclusion of Litecoin and Stellar Lumens, which both saw tremendous growth. Litecoin is seen as silvers to Bitcoin gold and as a result benefits from a positive correlation during Bitcoin rallies, whereas other altcoins tend to benefit later in the market cycle. 
So this looks like it is on a quarterly basis. I could be corrected on that, but if it is on a quarterly basis, that would make sense why BSV is still in here and Bitcoin Cash is still in this report because this is at the end of December and we currently see Uni in the portfolio, which we'll get to in just a moment. So the new report is due to come out in about a week's time. So these are the top 10 uh, as of quarter four, end of quarter four in 2020. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polkadot, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Cardano, Binance, Chainlink, Bitcoin SV, Stellar Lumens, and then of course the USD to uh, balance out the portfolio. This is an update look of the Crypto 10 hedge, 28th of February. Just gives you a bit of an overview, a risk profile, uh, fund composition now as of 28th of February. So in another month, we'll have that quarterly report come out. And as you can see here, we've got USD at 22%. Uh, we had a bit of a fall at the end of the month, so this must have been a sort of rebalance at that point. Cardano, 14%, looking good. Polkadot, 13 Bitcoin, 11 Ethereum, 11 Binance, Litecoin, Chainlink, Stellar, Bitcoin Cash, and Uniswap. So they've gotten rid of the XRP, which we looked at, and of course, Bitcoin SV, which must be completely off the list by now. And I assume uh, Bitcoin Cash will eventually drop out of this list, as will uh, potentially Stellar as well at some point. But at the moment, this is looking pretty decent. The top 10 and then the crypto 10 hedged. Max drawdown is what I'm interested in for a longer term portfolio, as we can see here with the 41% compared to the 67% if you are just holding the top 10. So a lot of good uh, little details and data that you can lose your way with here as well. Good stuff to have a look at. Um, investment currency. So if you did want to invest in it, ETH, USDT, TUSD, Dash, or Bitcoin. So they're the ones that you can send cash over to uh, basically hold your position in this fund. That's my first look at Invictus Capital. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As I said, yes, it is a sponsored video. However, that is all my own research that we have covered in the video so far. I like the look of the Crypto 10 hedged as a potential for the super fund or if you're just not interested in getting involved in all of the buying and selling across different exchanges and storing on wallets, then that can also be a another option. Also within the fund, it just within, within your own super fund, I should say, something like a Bitcoin and maybe a crypto 10 hedge could be a good balance, maybe even a, a gold hedge fund as well. So something around that sort of makeup seems like it could be a good strategy just for a longer term hold, staying within the digital space. Of course, none of that is financial advice. It's just something that I had gone through in my own research, thinking about how this could make up uh, a portfolio and be useful for uh, someone watching who, like I said, is not interested in all of the ins and outs and the trades and understanding all of the taxes between different trades in their own portfolios. Let me know what you guys think down below. I will hopefully get the CEO, Daniel, on the show to discuss this in further detail. So if you have questions around this, uh, anything to do with fees, the funds, how they perform, how they get uh, rebalanced or evaluated, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be very interested to hear that and then chat with the CEO about that as well. That wraps me up for today's video. If you liked it, you found some value from it, let me know, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Join me on Instagram for daily Q and A's and a look at my own retirement fund portfolio. And that wraps us up for today's video. Remember until next time, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.